Hello, this is Kara from Karen Co Creative. If you're new to the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all things online business, whether that's email marketing, payment gateways, everything. And of course, on YouTube, we're all about the tutorial and the DIY. So today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to integrate Flowdesk forms with your Squarespace website. It's actually really easy. Um, maybe even, ugh, excuse me, maybe even easier than MailChimp. So. Um, let me take you over my shoulder and show you how to do that. Alrighty, so this is my website. This is a client's Flowdesk account. So the first thing you need to do is set up a form. If you don't have a form in your Flowdesk already, all you need to do is hit add new form. And this is where you can browse your options. I'm doing an inline form. That's what this tutorial is for. So that is one that is in the body of your page, which is what I recommend the most. Really nobody enjoys pop-ups. Um, so ribbon banner is option one, option two. So you choose your option. You can choose what segment of your list it wants to go to. We're going to say this, save. And then here we have this, and now we can go about editing it. So we can edit the font, the colors, the buttons. Um, it's really a nice visual builder. So you can do a lot here. Um, enable double opt-in. That's up to you. I usually say if you're not dealing with any spam issues, then no. If you are starting to see spam signups on your site, then yes. And the next thing you'll want to do is um, decide on this, depending on what your options are. Display success message is about the easiest one. Redirect to URL. This can be good if you are trying to give somebody a free gift or something in exchange for their email. Sometimes getting them to that quicker is a good option. And continue to embed. So all we need here is the inline code. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to go to our website. So you can see here's this one. That's on an image. So you can see here what I did is we have the image and I have a code block and I have it set to the right. So all you need to do if you don't have a code block on your site already, just select this and go to code. And then you would type this in. And then to see it, hit save like this. So you can see ours is set up so that has a white background, which will be fine if you are in a white background, if you want it to be in the middle of a green background or something like that. Um, if you don't want the background, then all we need to do is go back to our design. And here's the canvas and the background color. So we can select that and this is for none. So if you want to be able to embed it on an image without it showing like this example, that's what you do but you really have a lot of options within Flowdesk to customize this form and make it look how you want it to on your site. And even on this one with the people to the left, having the image with white background looks fine too. So that is how you have it. Three minutes, how to embed a Flowdesk form onto your Squarespace website. Um, Flowdesk is really kind of an up and coming thing. And I think it'll start eating into MailChimp's subscriber base. I do. So Hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel where we do a lot of these tutorials. All right, thank you.